Revelation 3637. From the 26th of December 1945. Soul Food. God's Care for Earthly Needs. The nourishment of the soul shall be desired first, and the heart's desire shall be for it. And all earthly care will become obsolete. This is my condition which I set in order to be able to care for you, in order to provide you with everything you need for the preservation of earthly life. I will gladly take care of you, yet you also have to fulfill my will, you have to make the salvation of your souls your first concern, for the sake of which I gave you earthly life. And your souls can only mature if you feed and water them, if you don't let them starve during your earthly life. The soul must receive spiritual nourishment because it is spiritual, and this nourishment is constantly offered to it through my word. Therefore, if you receive my word in order to nourish your souls, it will be able to perfect itself, strength will be supplied to it which will enable it to mature. And therefore you must first desire spiritual nourishment, you must long for my word and hungrily accept it within yourselves, and you will fulfill the condition I set and can look forward to every day without worry. I cover all your needs with a readiness to help which is also clearly recognizable to you. My concern is only for your soul, yet you must tackle the work on it. I cannot shape your soul into perfection but your free will must accomplish this. The maturing of the soul is the goal and purpose of your earthly existence, and I will always help you to reach the goal. And thus, if you sincerely strive to become perfect, you can only devote all, care to your spiritual well-being and I will relieve you of earthly worries, I will give you everything you need. For I rejoice over my children if they accept the heavenly nourishment offered to them in their desire for me, if they open their hearts hungering and thirsting to be filled by me. And I now provide for them abundantly, spiritually and earthly. He who hungers shall be fed, he who thirsts shall be watered, the body I will sustain until it departs from the earth, until it has fulfilled its purpose of enabling the soul to mature. Therefore, do not fear and worry but leave all earthly worries to me, your Father of Eternity, who will not let you live in want if only you desire my word, which is always offered to you if you hunger and thirst for it. Amen.